welcome to this look at the new mod map on console with me Shafer D. Hello everyone, welcome to my first official map tour. We're on Stone Valley and this is a map by Lancy Boy. You can download it from the mod app for 397.68 megabytes. This map is in central Illinois, which is in America. If you start off on New Farmer, which I am currently doing on this map, if you start off on New Farmer, it comes in at 795, I know mine is showing 800 at the moment. I'll check that out. Why? It comes in at, okay, this is, I forgot, this is the upgraded version of it. So, it comes in at 800 slots, 8 hour, 800 out of 1299. If you start off on Farm Manager or start from scratch, the slot count remains the same. Unless you sell all of the equipment. If you sell all of the equipment, it drops down to roughly 571 slots. So, yeah let's have a look at the map shall we okay so we new farmer you start off basically in the center of the map which we will go through now so i'm going to start in the southwest so if you have a look at the map this is north east south and west so let's see what we start off with we start off with this farm here, which is nice, starts with field 8, then you have field 6, you own field 6, you own field 1, with that included, your farm silo, which we will have a look at as well, and you start off with a biogas plant, which is very fancy, I love it though. So we'll start off at the southeast. We're gonna drive through. I'll show you everything as we go along. Now, field prices. It's fairly cheap considering the size. Seven hundred and three thousand six hundred and seventy-six. That's four hundred and seven. Now, as you'll see, some fields are combined. Let's have a look. Where did I? Oh, he has one. You get field 32 and field 25 for 170,688, which is not bad. This is independence 89,964. I think that is the cheapest field on here. 89,000. I just want to see that's a combined field. We get three fields and a great. We'll also pass through this 305,995. 161,000. The most expensive one is this one here. Three fields. You get all of these with it for one million, just above a million bucks. So, yeah, that I think this is the cheapest field in games. So 89 grand. That's a combined one. Yes, 89 grand. Okay, so let's start off. Let's go in a bit closer. This is your south cell point. Then you've got your sheep pen here on a farm that you can buy for 703 grand. Here's another farm. We'll have a look. There's nothing there, but we'll go and have a look. Then as we come to the west, I'm not sure what that is. We'll go and have a look at what that is there. Then obviously you've got your biogas plant in the center. And here you've got your pig farm, your pig enclosure. That for 678,299. Then you get your lime station. Now if you buy this, you get the lime station, the west cell point and the valley foods on it. So you've got your west cell point, valley foods, you've got your animal dealer, you've got your bales to the north. And then you've got your diesel full point, your truck stop your shop 
your north cell point and your bale cell point. So here's a potential another form, another form over here, and another one over here with your silo and your diesel on site. Then as we come to the southeast, you buy this cow pasture and another one. I'll show you these two cow pastures. They've got a huge field here that is past part of the pasture. So we'll have a go and look at it. That is for 680,626. Then as we come to the bottom, you've got your spinnery. And we're back again at the south cell point. Let's see what we start off with. Okay, so you start off with a KSIH 340 CV extractor, then you've got the Lizard Road Runner, then you've got two John Deere S790s, which is a bonus. You can bring this down by selling the John Deere, one of them. Then you've got the Star Emperor 3.0, which is a fertilizer spreader and herbicide spreader. Then we've got the Lizard Pickup 2014, we've got the Wilson Paysetter Trailer, we've got the Kinsey 1051 grain cart which holds 37,000 litres. Then we've got the John Deere 645 FD header which is your normal crops. The last token that you see on this, I'm almost sure that's one of the new crops that's on the map. The two extra crops that we've got is rye and alfalfa. So that I'm sure is rye. Then you've got your John Deere 618C corn and sunflower header. You've got two of them. Then you've got your horse cruiser 12XL, which is your cultivator. You start off with your Agrisem Cultiplow Platinum 8 meter. So this is a subsoiler. Then you've got your horse prompter 9DC, which is a planter. Can plant most of your crops, basic crops, with rye and alfalfa included. Then you've got your TAM Leguan Quattro 4.0 or the 40 header trailer. Then you've got your Sour SB 1000 tractor weight. You've got your doghouse, which is neat. If you're not an animal lover, you can sell this for 1250 Then you've got your large grain silo, which holds 200,000 liters, two of them. So that's four, 400,000 liters, plus an additional 100,000 liters. I'll go check on the map or in the gameplay if you need all three fields with these on it to combine them. I'm pretty sure that's the case. As you can see, these two big ones all dry. The last one doesn't. These are modded to all dry in them. The 100,000 liter is not modded to all that. So just bear that in mind. Then you've got your farmhouse as well. So let's have a look at the farm. We will start off with our 200,000 liter silo. This is where you put your crop in. This is where you take your crop out. Then we've got our header. We've got a header trailer over here. This you can't use, unfortunately. It's just the. I always struggle with these. Okay, so let's trigger it there. Here you've got your two. John Deere S790s harvesters in here with the corn sunflower headers attached to them. Very nice. There is lights. I'm not sure. I think the trigger is right over here for the lights by this demarcated sign. So you can switch it on and off there. Then you've got your fuel. I'm not sure if you need to fill it up first to be able to use it. We'll have a look at that when we in-game. This is just there for show. Then you've got another shed for vehicles, machinery, etc. The light switch is over here, which is very fancy. 
got more equipment standing around here. Then you've got your farmhouse. Here's our pickup. This is your sleep trigger. I'm not tired at the moment. That's our lovely little pet over there. You can enter the house if you feel like entering the house. The garage as well. I'm pretty sure you can open it to park your vehicles inside. I love the fact that we've got so much storage space everywhere. Okay, so let's go over to this side. There is your weight situated right there. And in here, you will find your planter and your auger wagon. So, also the lights, I'm pretty sure, will be over here. love the fact that every door has a different noise on here. Not all the doors have the same cinematic when they open. I'm sure this is a water filling point. This is your workshop where you can customize, repair or sell vehicles if you feel like. Very neatly detailed. Love that. Love the buildings on here. Me and these doors. Right or you must just go a little bit. Yeah, you've got your Kesa H340. This is our uh, Imperador 3.0. Your light switch is also situated. Now I've closed the door. Oh, darn me. No. Sorry, guys. That's my cell phone going off while I'm busy recording. Sorry for that. Just switch it off quickly. Strange, the phone will not do anything until you start recording. This is a seed filling point, we'll just check that out in game as well. Then, we start off with this field here, which is very nice, let's have a look at it. It's this field over here. So, it sh this is your bunkers your clamps, whatever you want to call them. Very nicely detailed. I love the fact that we've got that on the next to this. It makes it a feel a bit more roomy. I see this is, if we have a look at the map right there, is your sea tank. So I'm sure you can fall from there. So let's go it over and grab our pick up and then we have a look at the map we'll where we want to start off with. so we're currently on the map central so I'm gonna come here come all the way down we'll stop there or I might even drive all the way over here we can come in from this side start here go through go in there I think that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna come out the farm here drive out here come up here I think let's just pop in by okay now wait let's stick to the plan here as so we're gonna come out here turn right turn right again come all the way down turn right again and then we'll pop in there first so let's get that done we've got traffic on so let's drive according to rules on this US map I don't know how fast they drive, but I hope I won't get into trouble for violating the rules regulations, the road regulations, let's rather put it that way. Now, if you look here, there is a bit of space that you can add something there, should you wish to do so. I love this map. I really do. The fills are a bit big but you get people that prefer biggish fields apart from like the UK fields and the European way not telling where the fields are much whoa where the fields are much smaller okay so while we here you can always if you want to purchase this there's enough room to put up anything that you want to on here 
Let's pop in here quickly and have a look. I don't know if we can open these buildings up, but I think, oh yes, what a nice storage place. The lights is right there. How nice is that? So if you want to buy this, you can and start off with something completely different. Nice area to put machini machinery or implements etc. A little bit of cleaning up to do but not too bad. The house, the garage for your vehicles. I'm sure they are also spacey. Yes they are. Also nicely detailed with the hanging lights and the roller shutter door going up in there. Okay, let me just close everything up. <laughs> the last time I did this, I received a comment, why do you always leave everything open? So, sorry for that guys. The trigger for these doors sometimes. Oh, that was me. Apologies for that. Close that up as we run through. Close that up. Got a large antenna here to show the airplanes that listen. Yeah, there's a field with a nice American flag and a everything around it that surrounds the area. So, yeah, you've got more than enough space to put in here whatever you feel like putting in here. So, let's get back to where we wanted to go. So, we came out here we drove up here came across here and then we bombarded through this area quickly so now I'll take a left go down and start doing what we need to do there's so much potential on this map so much I know the fields are quite large but it's not that bad if you really think about it Here's another farm that you can move into. Okay, let's pop in there quickly. Very nice. I love the old buildings that the paint is busy falling off or the paint is very weak and very nice. I love that. More storage. Ah, this is so divine. Also nice. I don't know. But this is the this is seems like it might be a chemical room to put your chemicals in okay let's run around this is your fuel tank more storage space for machinery or vehicles an old auger wagon or auger pop, I love those. Here's more for bales or anything that you would love to put in here. I'm sure there must be a light trigger around here somewhere. Is there lights in here? No, there's no lights, so there's no light trigger. Here is, I think this is the 100,000 liter silo, or there's a filling silo, I'm not too sure. No, this is 100,000 litre silo. So you have to, have to reverse it in here to get it in there. Very, very nice. You can start off here. Do what you have to do. I love it. This map is so nice. Every farm on this map has an American flag on it. It feels so homey though just sounds wrong the way I said it but and let's crack on let's go all the way down and see what else we've got on here this map is big there's so much room for growth here okay, so I'm gonna pull in here that's your house with your driveway I'm sure then we'll bob in here quickly Okay, before we carry on, if you're a family man, this is the home for you. It's a little playground for the children. If you've got ch children, then 
<laughs> for a child that's the best place to have okay so let's go in and see what's spotting in here very nice light triggers over here close that up neatly this is over here the light trigger is right there close that up and that's it for this little farm if you buy this farm we came out of there we went around here came down this road where are we now am I lost oh, we went up we went north <laughs> ok so if you buy this you get that as well so we went north we're going the other way around no problem I took a wrong turn wrong turn the movie oh my greatness ok so let's carry on with our tour so we're carrying on straight this is a little area that they've got the antenna power supply in ok so this I'm pretty sure the entrance I wanted to say the entrance is back there this is a cell point so I'll show you just now I haven't done or checked the map on this so I'm not sure myself but I've done a bit of research but now and then it flies by and you forget everything so here's the cell point right here come in here so we are at the north cell point which is over here then if we go around you get your male cell point which I will show you quickly if you come around here turn right here I'll have to go back in there again because I missed it a bit now if you're pulling right here this is your bail cell point so if you reverse your vehicle up by this door that is your bail cell point very nice this little area on the right there is nothing in there to be used it's just the part of this on this side okay, so we're gonna take a left here now I'll show you quickly we are here now so we're gonna take a left show you the shop and then we'll continue with the map tour this is your vehicle shop or the shop in order to use this you need to come in here you can use your tablet there is to check your bank balances this is to go in to buy vehicles and purchase vehicles so I'll show you quickly very nicely detailed oh I'm stuck in the corner here let's just close this door if you purchase new vehicles pallets etc your spawn point is around the corner at the back which is right here this you will see is a graveyard for or a repair yard let me rather put it that way where vehicles and implements are being repaired or customers old vehicles are being kept for them with trailers this one oh calling me Steiger standing on a block or on a piece of stone so that's your vehicle workshop let me just have a look here I did not see a cell point there. I think this is a workshop and a cell point no this is just a cell point Ah, oh, you can customize it acts as a workshop and a cell point okay that's the cell point and the workshop in one so let's get on with it 
if my map was a bit different I do apologize I mean I try to do everything as best as I can this is just a little shed where you can come and park anything you want to should you own it Slowly by the speed arms, check the traffic. Okay, the traffic's not coming. I'm gonna pause here quickly. We just went in there. Am I going the right way? I'm sure I am. Let's just drive on the right side of the road here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I am. Okay, so now we are passing the fuel station. So this is your fuel filling point. You can pull in here. Let's see if I can fill up quickly. Pull in there. Press L3. Yes, you can. Fill up quickly. Very nice. I don't know. I don't think you can enter here. No. Oh, you can. Okay. This is very nice though. Very nice of Lancy boy to put that in there. So we are currently at the truck stop. This one here is your truck stop. If you, I just got stuck there for an unknown reason. I think this is the truck stop entrance right in here, but you can't use it. Where is it at the back end now? Let's just reverse over there quickly. Oh, this is your truck stop sell point. Reverse your vehicle in there and you sell whatever you've got on your vehicle over there. So we're going to go out, carry on here. I'm going to go past this quickly. I'm going to come to our Valley Foods and West sell point. Then as I return, I will stop in here and we'll go to the Lime Station after that. So once we come out here, we'll take a left. As you can see here at the back, don't know if I've shown you this, no I haven't. There's another cell point, right over your customized point. If we come onto it now, it will show our vehicle there. Let's just repair it for five dollars. So there is another vehicle repair point at the back or a workshop whichever way you want to call it I love the feel of this map I must say it's a very nice map I'm almost certain I must do a map play on this I'm not gonna call it a let's play I'll call it a map play uh, maybe a let's play but I'm pretty sure I want to start one on here start from scratch perhaps I don't know maybe a farm manager or new farmer whoa that's farmer Pete going to get some lime and stuff or fertilizer or something I love the trees and everything in here because I'll start from this end so if we come in here, I'll just drive through so that you can see. If you come in by this gate, you can't go to the other cell point. You need to use the other entrance. There's two entrances. One entrance for each of the points. Drive in here, which is the last entrance, to be able to use this cell point right here. So we are currently we went to the truck stop from the shop to the truck stop then we drove past here over this little creek we are at west sell point now so just drive on there and sell your crops if you want to exit I'm sure there's other ways that you can get around this here but then we will go to this cell point here quickly what I love about this map it's got so much potential on it 
Here's the other cell point. So you reverse your vehicle in here or across it. But I'll expect you to do Valley Food cell point reverse in. Okay, so now from here, we will go right, turn out right, and go to our animal dealer and our bales. From there, we'll come down to our lime station, biogas plant. Then we'll go visit this farm here. Then we're gonna go straight down all the way. Then we'll first go to our left, start from that side, this side, and end up by the spinnery. This will be our last point. So let's get on it. What I love about this is you can come in, do your own story mode, or do the map as you feel fit. If you think you wanna do cattle there's more than enough space on you to open a cattle ranch and do whatever you need to do if you want to do crops that's magical I mean that's so nice so we're at the animal dealer here yeah? this is where you pull in your trailer L3 you can go through all of these to buy load them in your trailer and off you go so we are currently over here at the animal dealer so we're going to come out again to our bale cell point very nice I love the fact that everything is so unique the little roads in and just everything about this map. Oh, I just drove past it. My golly me, sorry people. I've I've went through the map, but like I said earlier on, sometimes you just drive through and you don't take note of where everything is. This is your bail cell point right here, which is there. Now, I'm not sure if you come in with an empty trailer, if you can buy bales there, I'm almost certain you can't, but maybe I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, there goes the paint job as well. I'm almost certain I'm going to do a start from scratch. We are currently there now, so we're going to come to the south here, we'll come in here. So we'll turn left and then go the first right again. Ah, oh, the terrain, everything is so lovely on this map, Blancy boy. If you go look in the description, there's a lot of models that are Blancy boy. Please go and have a look at it. I mean, it does mean a lot. Okay, there's one thing you need to know on this part of the map now. If you open the door here, you'll find your truck and trailer standing in here so this is where you'll find your truck and your trailer it's parked here you just need to come and take it out here move it to your farm so if we go i'm not sure i'll run around quickly. i'll leave the vehicle here you know what let's drive here there's another silo at the back here so let's go in there quickly if you buy this you can transform this a little bit into something as you can see this is here it's a lime station don't click on the vehicle there that's a lime station very nice I love the fact that all the gas points are here the little speed dumps when you must slow down the parking lots outside okay so that's done now we're gonna come down to the biogas plant and then we'll turn right to go and have a look at the next farm it's always difficult to do your first map tour because I need to concentrate on writing down my notes a little bit better so that it's easier to read while I'm doing this so 
here's a biogas plant. This is your digestate filling point, which is your byproduct. This is your tip in with your scale to tip in all your products in there. We've got another clamp over here, which is nice, nice and big. I love that idea there. I'm not sure entirely. Oh, this is nice. I love the detail on here though. I don't see unless this is your slightly cell point as well. I don't see any other is yes, I'm correct. That is your slurry and product cell point, which is very nice. Love it. You put all your products in here. With your slurry you park in front of it, you can dump it in there and get it sold. Okay, so we are at the biogas plant. Then we're gonna come down, turn right and then go check out this farm here. Yeah. This map is big, but it's nice. I love the detail, the extra bin standing around and everything on the farms is just so nice. I love it. The fencing, picket fences and... Okay, so we're taking a right. If I see the water line next to that, field there. Does that mean there's a water point potentially for us? No, I don't think so. I think they just had severe rain on you. Okay, so this is the entrance to the side. Okay, we go in here. And this is lovely already. A lot of parking space. As you can see. I just love the animation sounds. Come in here very nicely detailed I love that fact that we've got that on here I'm just gonna run through quickly I'm not gonna take the vehicle now oh this is so spacious look at this how neat is this okay so we are here that is your big enclosure this is the entrance, I'm just going to jump over that quickly. If you come down here, you've got all these little nice shelters and everything. Okay, so for your pigs. It's quite big. If you buy it, you'll see how much it can hold. I'm not sure, but this is your manure point. This is your water trough I'm sure your LP tanks this is your tight no this is your slurry point so if you come in here this is there is your buy point where you click on it this is where you purchase your pigs so if you come around there or come around the side straight in there's our vehicles if you run straight in this is your purchase point. I think this is your water. Maybe. No, this is your feed trough. I'm not sure. This is your straw point. So this is your feed point. This is your straw point. And your water trough is right out here. Very nice. Love that love the fact that you can go in from any angle here and they've got a little bit of a you can say pasture that they can play in or do what they need to do that's this farm but I love the fact that it's so open it's got all these doors and now this if you want this it's going to pull you 678,299 <coughs> Sorry, I do apologize. <coughs> now something stuck in my throat. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's check what's over there by 27. I think it's a potential area that you can grow. 
Oh, it's a cemetery. I apologize. So that's a cemetery over there. It's the first time I've seen a cemetery on a map. Okay. So we are here now. We're going to go down. That's our farm that we started at. We're going to drive all the way down. We'll pop in there quickly. Go over here. Go check what's going on there. Go to this area. A south south point. Spinnery. Come here and finish up here. I love the fact that it's mostly flat. Yeah, and there you'll find a little bit of a bump in the system on the works. But I love the fact that it's so open. Okay, there's no vehicles coming, so I'm just gonna go for it. This is our farm that we started off at. Uh, there's one little detail I forgot. You've got two like little gardens behind the house. My apologies, I forgot to mention that. So we're rushing down here now. We've got a lot of farm equipment driving on the roads here. Which is so nice. Okay, let's turn in here. If you buy this, that's your house there. That will be your house. If you come over here, this is your silo to put in and to fill out of I've got your fields there nice machine shed that's your light switches right there we've got where you can park your vehicles and you've got a small area around here as well and you can come and put more vehicles in here as well very very nice spacious there's a little playground if you've got kiddies with this that you can sit and watch them play or sit outside and have lunch needs a little bit of paintwork restoration but not too bad at all I'm just gonna pull out quickly then we'll rush to the right Come back this way and have a squeeze at that and see where we at. Love this that you've got this area that you can do something with. Okay, so we're at the next farm, which is a lovely farm. Okay, I'm gonna park the vehicle here. So we are here now. This little area. I'll drive there just to show you that one before we finish up. Okay, open that one up. This looks very spacious for vehicles, which is lovely. Then you've got a very low area here for... What's this for? Okay. There's an another door. We, we just opened that there. Close that door there quickly. Okay, so this is as you can see, she's sheep pastures. This is where you fall you'll find your wool pellets. If you come through here, this is the pasture for your sheep, which is here. Quite nice and spacious this is your troughs I just want to go and check inside quickly this is your feed trough this outer one is your water trough which is very nice if you come over here that is where you purchase your animals your animal purchase point animal dealer point whatever you want to call that this little area you can put machinery or feed whatever you want in there for your animals very nice area though if you run over to this side there is two doors there but I'm just going to use the side door quickly for machinery and equipment very nice I love the fact that it's so spacious the cow grids everything around there come through here you've got this gate to enter the 
running around here. It's very, very spacious. I love this part. We opened here already, I'm sure. Can park a few smaller vehicles in there and bigger vehicles over here. A lot of people don't like big maps like this. I've said it before. They'd rather go for something a little smaller, I suppose. Something that will meet their requirements. So I love this map. I'm just gonna whiz through here quickly. Just wanna show you if you buy this. In this area here, you can place more buildings if you feel like. So if you buy this, you get that for 703,000. Not a bad buy at all. Very neat. Spacious. That potentially, you can put up more shades for vehicles. Whatever you choose to do, that will benefit you in such a lovely way. This is the last of the farms on this side that you can purchase if you feel like you've got the farmhouse which is right here. There is no silos on here. You've got this one shed over here. We'll have a look at it quick. It's got two doors. Also neat. And there's another door. I love the fact that this map everywhere You've got space to place your vehicles and park your vehicles. So many sheds, shelters. I love it. I just it's beyond me. Very nice. And everything is so nicely detailed to the brim. The fields are quite big. I love that fact. So we are over here on the southwest corner now. We're gonna drive past that. We've already have had a look there. I think we didn't have a look there. But let's start with the south cell point. Then we'll drive straight past it. Carry on. And then we'll have a look at the last farm that you can potentially purchase. Look at the price. See what that's all about. Okay, so we've been in there. Very nice. This is your south south point coming up on to your right. Let's pull in here quickly. If you've got any items, you just roll in here. This is your south point right here. Very nice. There's more vehicle storage space over there or implements. Okay, so now we were at the south cell point we'll go to the spinnery quick pass the spinnery first left and have a look at our last farm on the side this map's got so much space and places to put up new stuff did we have a look at this one here I'm not sure I'm almost certain we do, or we did. No, I'll put it that way. There's your entrance to us. Yes, we did. It was right in the beginning where we accidentally went up instead of to the south. So, don't knock over the dustbins now, Shafidi. Okay, then we'll take a left here. We were just at the south cell point. We're approaching the spinnery to our left. Let's just drive on the right side of the road here. Yeah. Love the road signs and everything that's on here. Here's your wool factory, your spinnery. So if you pull in here around the corner here, this is your cell point. So if you come in with a vehicle, this is where you sell it. That's your cell point right there. You can drive around. If you've got a truck, this is going to be a bit problematic for you. So it's better just to back it up in there, get that sold. So now we're approaching the last of our farms before returning to our own farm, basically. So 
we came around from the south south point we went there just to go double check it we were at the spinnery you come down here and then we're gonna turn left to the last field now I know American farmers do love the red equipment right here now so we're gonna turn left I don't disagree to that there's no problem with running red equipment we all know that's case I age I don't have a problem with case I age though but I'm a John Deere person but I'm gonna start a start from scratch on this bed and we'll start off with case I age go American Okay, this is the last of the farms. We are currently on this farm here. If you want to purchase this, that's 680,000 bucks and you get field 3 with it. And field 35, which is like a little garden orchard. So, if you buy this, this, I'll show you the other way around. Let, let's go to the central side of this so that you can understand it a little better. Here's another, I'm sure it's a fuel filling point no. here's your milk point this is your cow shed so if you come over here you'll see that it's divided into two parts here now for me to start there's another cow grain that farm there comes with this pasture which I'm standing in now and this side comes with that pasture on the right so you've got two cow pa or you can say cow sheds whatever you want to call it four cows two apart from each other so it's separated by this fence here straight through so this cow area comes with all the that pasture then this one comes with that pasture so let's have a look this is your milk point that you put in to extract the milk out of or to load the milk if you come in here let me just make double sure if you jump over here this is your straw point in the middle here that you fill up your straw if you come to the end you can open up these doors if you feel like the light switch is right here for the outer perimeter I'm sure there is the light on top there I love this I love this I love this so let's run around here let me show you all where the water trough and all of those is okay so here's your water trough outside here so you can come in here fill up the water there happy days then if you come in here this is your feed trough is it is that your feed trough this is your buy point so you buy your animals there you open this gate pull in here put all the feed in here very very nice so let's go to the next one okay so if you come in here this is your I'm sure this is your milk point to collect your milk from almost certain this is your feed troughs which is very nice no that's not your milk point here's your milk point over here that's your milk point ok I'll just double check that out quickly I'm not sure think if you pull in here yeah, this is your animal buy point over here there's another light switch for the outer side that's your milk point there I think this is your straw point yes this is your straw point sorry ladies and gentlemen there that's your manure point right there sorry that's my chair cracking now I just had to move because I feel like this is where you put your feet in. I feel like falling through the chair. This is your pasture. 
and this is your water trough on the outside here very nice very neat the only thing that I can't see oh there's it right there this is your slurry point so here's another vehicle parking space a lot of parking space smaller vehicles on the side for machinery and larger ones in the middle I love this love the fact that it's so open here okay so that's the two cow pastures and here's a silage clam free which is gigantic if you come over here another huge vehicle parking place for or shed for small vehicles and big vehicles you can put your header there put your harvest over there reverse your truck in here is so much potential in it. it's not even funny then you've got a little loading dock which is over there and this is another slurry point that's your slurry store it looks like I'm not sure if you can open or close it no you can't so that's it for this one so if you want to buy this like I've said at 680,626 so we've covered everything we came out here accidentally no we came out there went this way checked that out we wanted to come south and accidentally drove north Park gas lime station we turned right drugstore we've checked all of these I'm a bit confused myself now as to oh no I'm lying I'm very sorry yes we came out here went up there came down here checked out this and then we started going up <coughs> Then we went around to the west side, Cell Point and Valley Foods. We came to the bales and animal dealer lime station biogas. Came in here, checked all of these out. And we drive we drove down there, went in there, went in there, went in there, went to the spinnery, came to the north, and we there now. So we've checked out everything that there is to check out, to be honest with you such a lovely map I love it that's Stone Valley people so the next time you'll see me on here is when I'm doing a let's play on here I'm certainly gonna do a let's play on this map start from scratch let's see how it goes so I know I've had a few glitches but bear in mind please that it was my first map tour officially that I've done I've never done it before I don't think I've done that bad I'll just have to prioritize my notes a little bit better once I've got that sorted out my next map tour will be much better to apologize for the little bumps in the system that I had there but nobody's perfect so, if you found any of the information useful, please do give the video a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, please feel free to do so. If you want to share this video, please be my guest. A lot of my viewers watch my videos, but they haven't subscribed yet. Please hit the subscribe button, I'll appreciate it. So, for everyone, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next episode which will be episode 2 of Stone Valley which will be the start of my let's play so thanks for watching everybody see you in the next one enjoy <laughs>